In this tutorial, I'll show how to create an animation where you get the feeling of having a camera rotating around an object. To do this, you'll first have to open an assembly model. For this example, I'll use an assembly that I did a long time ago. So now the first thing you'll have to do is to enable the visual of your room. You'll need to see your room and see your lighting also. So to do this you'll have to go in view, display setting and model display. You'll have to go in shadows and enable the rendering of your environment like that. Well, now you got your room. One thing you'll notice is that when you're rotating your object you don't get a sense of a camera rotating. What you'll need to do here is to put the room the environment to move in reference to your object. To do this you just need to go in view model setup and go in the render control. Now go in the environment menu right here and you'll see this menu pop up. What you'll need to do is go in here and put your room to move in accordance to your model here. And now you'll see the difference, right? Now we're going to do something very similar to what we just did with the environment, but now with the lighting. What we want to accomplish here is we want the lighting to rotate when the object rotates. We're gonna, so we're going to go in view, model setup, and then render control. We're going to click on the little light bulb button right here. And as you can see, the light bulb right here shows up. We're going to choose th this, um, this selection right here. And as you can see, when you rotate the object, the light bulb stays static in the reference camera. That's not what you want. You want the light bulb to rotate with the object. So we're going to go into position and choose that the light bulb rotates in the reference of the model right here. So now you can see the difference. Uh, there you go. So now that's done. Now you can really get the sense of a camera rotating around the object, right? So we're just gonna tweak a little bit our environment to make it look better. So we're gonna go back in the render control and I'm gonna modify the environment for a cylindric style. So I'm just gonna move the the bottom, the bottom. I mean, and then stretch this a bit. All right, perfect. So as you can see, you really get a sense of a camera rotating around the object. Now, how to, how to create an animation with that in mind? That's what we're going to do next. Before starting, make sure that you are in an assembly. What's an assembly? It's uh, when you create a file with this option on. Create an assembly, then you import all your models in. Anyways, you go in application, animation. If you're not too familiar with the animation user interface, you'll notice there's a lot of tools on the slide for animating and a timeline for what you want to animate. To create our animation of a camera rotating around our object, we'll need to create some preset views. To create the views, click here, and as you notice, all the preset views are right here, or, or the default views are right here, you'll need to create your own views. So let's say you want your animation to start in this orientation. Then you'll type view 1 or anything you want and save this view. So let's say you go left view, then you go back to the view you just uh, saved. It's going to go back to the one you just had. So let's say, alright, my animation starts here. Then I want the camera to, to go to here. So we're going to save this view to view 2. So what we've got so far, we've got view 1, then view 2. Then you let's know, say you want the camera to rotate more to here. So we're we'll call this view three. So now to link those three views into an animation, we're gonna take those views and put it in the timeline right here. 
To do this, you'll have to click right here and select view one. So right here, you select view one, then you set a timer to start after an event. We want the animation to start at view one, so we're gonna put view one to start at zero seconds after the start of the animation. So we're gonna apply. As you can see, it pops up in the timeline. Now we're gonna close and open it again. Now we want view two to start, let's say, five seconds after view one, the one we just added. So we're gonna apply. As you can see, it pops up right here. So we're gonna close and do it again for view three. Now we want view 3 to start 5 seconds after view 2 and apply. So what we can see here in the timeline, we said to start at view 1, then in 5 seconds go to view 2. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to pause for 5 seconds, it's only going to go to view 1 to view 2 in a matter of 5 seconds. And it's going to go to view 2 to view 3 in another 5 seconds. So to test it, we're going to click on start animation. You see it takes five seconds to transist to one view to another. Now to create a natural animation with that, we're going to go on read. And we got a little slide bar here which uh, you can double check all the frames of your animation. If you're satisfied you can capture it right here. Set the name what format, if you put JPEG, that's an image format, it's going to save one image for each frame, but we want the video, so we're going to put MPEG, set the pixel resolution, and the renderer, we're going to put that off right now, and set the uh, frame per second, so 25, so we're going to put, okay, so it's going to render every frame, and put it in one animation, and that's all, that's the end of my tutorial, have a good day. If you have any more questions or comments, if you have any other suggestions for future tutorials, let me know.